When it comes to running a Shopify store, there are a lot of things that you need to actually look at. One of them will actually be the invoicing side of it. And there is actually a Shopify app that I'm going to show you today that will make this super easy and it's really flexible as well. So depending on the size or aspect ratio of your store, basically adjust to it really well. And I've been using this for a few months now on my Shopify stores. It's just made the whole process way easier. So I'm going to show you exactly what to install, exactly how to get it going. Going, and I'm going to show you it in action. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So what we're going to be installing today, guys, is the OxyLayer <laughs> PDF invoice generator. And there's a few reasons why I use this. One of them is it just basically covers everything you need for a Shopify store. That includes returns and fulfillments, drafts, orders, refunds, packing slips, and of course, creating invoices as well as the main feature. And the reason why I'm suggesting this for you guys today is if you are just new to Shopify, maybe you don't want to be putting out a bunch of money. We can see here, they actually have a free option of up to 50 total orders created per month. So basically when you sell 50 products, then you can just upgrade it and have no order limit from that point. So this is why I'm suggesting this today. And of course, it's basically the best invoice generator out there. So let's actually watch this in action here. Here we have a store. Let's say we want to buy this selling plans ski wax. So what I'm going to do is press buy it now. I'm going to go to this payment screen right here and fill this out really quick. And now that's filled out. We're going to press pay now. And here we can see that, yes, it's actually working in the store right now. So here we can see the invoice side. If it says need an invoice, we can actually go ahead, download that invoice as a PDF. And then if we bring up that PDF here, we can see, yes, it has made this invoice for us basically seamlessly just from that app installation. So here we are in our Shopify store. We can see a few apps here that I have. And one that you actually do want to set up, which I'll talk about at the end of the video, is fulfillment. So just keep that in the back of your brain. But let's get this invoice app onto our Shopify store. So here we can see this is the Shopify app store. And the way we can find the OxyLayer PDF invoice generator is simply just typing in OxyLayer in to the Shopify store. You can see it comes up as the first result. And it's also worth noting here, guys, that this was actually recommended in the Shopify store blog that they actually put out here. So in terms of credibility, these guys are solid. Now, installing this is as easy as clicking a button here. Just make sure your site into Shopify and then we're just going to hit the install button. Next we're going to get this little verification thing just hit install again and as we can see here on the left hand side of our Shopify store we do have the app section and in that app section is the OxyLayer invoice app. What we're going to do is set this up real quick so super easy to do all we're going to do is just follow this setup guide to so set up templates here so we can pick the style here of the invoice that we want we can see tons of templates to choose from this nice colored one at the bottom is catching my eye but let's just go with the first one here for simplicity all we're going to do after that is press next make sure the language is english and then we're going to fill out the information to do with our store. So that would be company name, the VAT number, registration number, etc. And once that's all done, we're going to hit next. Now it's asking for our logo. So this basically ensures that the logo will be shown on the invoice, keeping everything professional. So we've selected our logo and uploaded it, as you can see here. Now we're going to press next. So now it's asking us to select a color here. So before it was purple in the template, but let's go with black. It's more suited to our branding. And this is basically what our invoice would look like. Once we're happy with that, we're simply gonna press finish and it says setup completed. We've got our finished invoice here. So any customer that buys our products will see that invoice. Next, we have the template editor. So this is where we can go into a little bit more depth with our invoice. So here is basically everything that's going to be filled out from all of the criteria we've already used. So if we wanted to change the font or we wanted to change the layout a little bit more, then it's basically gonna use that as the future template and the future invoice that we will be creating. So for example here, let's say we want to add a link. We can go ahead and then drag that in and then put the link right here. So we can go ahead and fill that out right here. We can adjust it here if we want as well in terms of the borders. We can also change the position and size of it, the background color of it, and even the font of the text as well. 
Once we're happy, we simply press save and we move on. Now, of course, invoices are great, but we can actually set up this level of customization for basically everything to do with our business. So that could be a packing slip, order, fulfillment, refund, returns, or even a draft. And they also have email templates here as well, in which, yes, it would send that PDF or the email to the customer. Now, if we go to our email here, we can see this in action from what we bought earlier. So we can see here we've got an email for that ski wax that we ordered. We can view the order. We can also download the invoice directly from the email. And that is really a good example of how we can get this and what our customers will see. And also in the orders section of OxyLayer, what you can do here is actually click more actions and send an email extension. And what that allows you to do is actually send custom emails to a customer. So we could click on their order and we can actually add an email to that. Maybe it's a back and forth conversation about the products. And yeah, that's just an extra bit of fidelity from this app. Now there's so many more features here that these guys actually give. I mean, you can see all here, there's just endless things that you can do with this app surrounding your invoices and your orders. You can also edit the billing address as well, which Shopify's default system doesn't actually allow you to do. So when a customer actually gives you the wrong billing address, this is actually something that happens quite a lot, particularly with my stores. You can't actually change it without this app. So definitely consider getting this in the description. But overall, this is one of the best apps that you need for your Shopify store. And the reason for this is it's basically the most flexible admin system out there that you can get added to Shopify. It allows you to print invoices, orders, fulfillments, returns, and refund documents very, very easily. Most of it's automatic once you've set it up. It's also super well integrated with Shopify Flow, so you can create workflows and send drafts or order invoice emails with attached PDFs right on time. For example, only when an order is paid or when the fulfillment is created. The way that this is set up is fantastic, and it also allows you to upload invoices to a server such as Dropbox or Google Drive. This is especially helpful when customers need to save and store a copy of the invoice for legal purposes. The app is also integrated with Shopify emails, customer order view pages, order statuses pages, and a thank you page as well. And also Shopify plus merchants can add a VAT number field with EU VAT number validation to the checkout information step as well. Now, there is tons more to do with this app that I haven't covered in this video, guys. But the short answer here is that, yes, it is free to use up to 50 orders, in which that case you have the profit to just upgrade anyway. And it's super well integrated. You've seen me set this up today very, very easily. Now, guys, we've covered invoices, but another thing that you need for your Shopify store, and this is crucial to success here, is fulfillment. I've been using fulfillment for a long time now, guys. And basically what they do is cover everything to do with your drop shipping. So whether it's the drop shipping as a whole, China sourcing for suppliers, Amazon FBA services, and much more, including even product photography, these guys basically have you covered. And for me, I mean, since using them, my whole process in dropshipping just got way more streamlined. I don't have to actually go into the granular stuff. I basically just work with them. They do it all for me and they are super affordable and great value compared to anything else out there. So if you're an entrepreneur, a small business or a dropshipper, definitely check this out. Link will be in the description. All right, guys, so that is OxyLayer and of course, fulfillment on the side. Guys, this is basically how you can get your Shopify store running seamlessly. So definitely check out OxyLay in the description because when it comes to invoices and basically the admin side of your business, you've seen me do it here today. Very, very easy to set up. And then from that point, it's simply automated. Plus you have all of this editing software integrated into it. So you can customize your templates and do it all directly on the Shopify app. That's going to be it from me. Check this out in the description and I will see you in the next video.